Now on Saluga Sports View, volunteers come together to make recreation a lot more inclusive. We highlight Anthony Bean's career as he plays his final season at SIU. And we talk to one athlete who's doing all she can on and off the court. Saluki Sports View starts right now. Live from the campus of Southern Illinois University, Saluki Sports View begins right now. Welcome to another edition of Saluki Sports View. I'm Danny Valle. And I'm Sean Conway. We have a lot to cover today from men's basketball starting out the season with a record of 7-1. and one. To one Saluki making a comeback with the women's basketball team after suffering an injury last season. But first, SIU Volleyball is making program history as they compete in the NCAA tournament tomorrow when they go up against the Fighting Illini in the first round of the tournament. The Dogs take on Illinois at 4 at the Cardinal Arena in Louisville, Kentucky. The winner takes on either the host of the regional Louisville or OVC champion Belmont this Saturday at 7.30. Both matches are on ESPN3. Saluki volleyball players continue to leave quite a legacy at SIU. Sports View reporter Anthony Wilder has more. Saluki volleyball senior Taylor Pippen just wrapped up her final regular season as a Saluki. She leaves a mark on the program both on and off the court. She graduates this month with a bachelor's degree and accounting with a 3.70 GPA. In the classroom, I'm competitive and I like to do the best, so um, grades have always been an important aspect of my life. And uh, when I got to college, I wanted to excel not only on the court, but in the classroom. Pippin is a two-time first-team MVC scholar athlete. Four years ago, Saluki Volleyball went in a different direction as Justin Ingram became head coach. One of Ingram's first calls on the job was to Pippin. He calls her an exemplary student athlete. That's kind of the one, two, three punch. If, if you can do those things, academics, athletics, and then the community service on top of that and enjoy all three aspects of doing it, um, it's, she's hitting a home run. Pippin leaves the Saluki program as the all-time leader in attack percentage and block assists while finishing fifth all-time in career sets played. Pippin says she's proud to be a Saluki. Coming in as a freshman, I just didn't know what I was getting myself into, and I had the best college career being able to be a Saluki. Um, I love my team, my coaches, um, just the whole experience has been amazing. The Saluki set a program best this year with a 23-9 overall record, finishing second in the MVC. This weekend, the Salukis received an at-large bid and will be the Saluki's first ever postseason appearance. Fitting for a team whose motto coming into the season was make history. Pippin, after her collegiate career comes to a close, hopes to play volleyball professionally overseas. After that, she hopes to work for a big four accounting firm. Pippin reflects on her time at SIU. I wanted to just be able to impact the program in some way, so being able to leave here and know that I was able to accomplish that, um, I'm very happy. For Saluki Sports View, I'm Anthony Wilder. The volleyball team will play the University of Illinois in the first round of the NCAA tournament at Cardinal Arena in Louisville tomorrow at 4 p.m. Co-offensive coordinator Nick Hill is the interim coach for the Saluki football team. Athletic director Tommy Bell named Hill interim coach on Tuesday. SIU Athletics starts the search for a new head football coach. Bell mentioned that after careful consideration, it was time for them to move on from Lennon and think about the future of SIU football. Uh, you never know when those opportunities will come about, you know. Um, I was focused on being the best offensive coordinator that I could be and uh, be the best you know, coach that I could be, but the opportunity is here and um, my job right now is to be the best interim coach I can be and that's what I'm going to do. Later in the show, Bell will join us in studio to talk more about the search for a new head coach. A familiar player for SIU basketball enters his final season playing at the peak of his college career. Did I mention his dad is one of his coaches? Sportsview reporter Zach Thomas has more. Over the past four years, the Saluki men's basketball team has had a consistent cog. The presence of Anthony Bean. The senior from Normal, Illinois burst onto the scene his freshman year, breaking school records and making an impact in the MVC. He originally signed with Illinois State but was released from his scholarship and signed at Southern after his father was named an assistant coach by Barry Hinson. 
If I was somewhere else and he wasn't there, I wouldn't get the same thing, the same coaching. I wouldn't have the, the same relationship as I would with my father, so it's great to have him. It's been great. You know, I, I, I've been looking forward to it. You know, even when he was in high school as a sophomore, when, when he really started excelling, we started talking about it. You know, I knew he had a chance to play at the Division One level. Both father and son know how important basketball is, but their time together off the court is valued even more. I say the biggest enjoyment for me and my wife is, you know, having him around his four years in college and being able to continue to spend more time with him. All my friends ask me, like, what's it like because he's a coach, but when we go home, it's just basketball is left aside unless one of us bring it up. But it's, it's usually left aside and we're just talking about things like school and, and family and all that. His development at SIU has been tremendous, racking up MVC All-Freshman Team and Second Team All-MVC Awards. Head coach Barry Henson feels that Bean has become a smarter player and that the team around him has helped create opportunities. Anthony's not forcing a lot of bad shots. Uh, last year we needed him to score. We had to have him score. He may have taken some ill-advised shots last year just because we, we didn't have anybody could shoot the basketball. With his placement on SIU's all-time scoring list, Anthony Bean could find himself here in the Saluki Hall of Fame when his college career is over. Bean currently ranks 12th on that very list with 1,459 career points, but that isn't taking his mind off his goal. It's a great thing, just shows how much how much uh, I've improved and how much work I've been putting in. It's good to see it pay off a little bit, but that's the goal is just winning right now. After his college career, Bean wants to be a coach just like his father. For Saluki Sports View, I'm Zach Thomas. Bean and the Dogs will head to North Texas Saturday for a battle with the Mean Green. Tip-off is from Denton at, 7, at 5 p.m. The men's basketball team stood on top of SEMO last night, beating the Red Hawks 70-56. to Both the Dogs and the Red Hawks were struggling on offense in the first half, with SIU only leading by five at the end of the half. Then the Dogs came swinging with Sean O'Brien scoring 10 points with four three-pointers. SIU would end up outscoring the Red Hawks with 42 points in the second half, giving them their seventh win on the season. Coach Hinson said that he was very impressed with the team. Uh, we wanted to be better in our transition defense. We were better. Do you realize we won the game tonight by 24 points and our three best three best three-point shooters went one for 16? I'm not going to take that for granted either. So it's a, it's a heck of a deal for us. I thought we had some great performances. I mean, I, I thought that's pretty good. The Dogs returned to action this Saturday when they were traveled down south to take on North Texas. And SIU Club is bringing more members together with the help of their advisor. And one Saluki athlete is helping out her team after coming off a knee injury. We'll be back in 90 seconds. Balancing grad school and athletics is a lot to manage, but try adding a knee injury into the mix. One Saluki athlete has climbed up the boards in Saluki history despite her setbacks. Asia Washington is back on track after struggling with a knee injury from last season. The first year grad student has gradually been seeing some more playing time on the court as her recovery continues. Despite making progress through her injury, Asia fights to play through the pain. Like that game where I played really well, my pain just went numb. And then there's some days where it's there and I'm, I have a lot of swelling and you know, so um, I can't really give a percentage. Most of the time I'm playing with pain. Having an impact player like Asia sit out much of the year has hurt the dogs on the board so far this season. But coach Cindy Stein says she'll start seeing the court more as her knee continues to heal. Yeah, Asia's a huge factor for us. I mean, just her experience. She does so many things naturally. She's a very instinctive type of player. Um, obviously her shooting, you know, her rebounding, she's a very good presence for us. Um, I think she'll see more and more minutes as she gets in better shape. Last season, Asia Washington joined exclusive company for the Salukis. Washington finished the year with over 700 career rebounds as well as 500 career points. She became the 17th Saluki to join those ranks. It, it just shows that, you know, I have, I have done some great things here, especially with, you know, the rebounding um, offensively and defensively, but it feels good, but at the end of the day, I'd rather have a Valley championship win. Asia sits in the top 15 all time in rebounding for the Salukis. As her knee continues to get better, she'll slowly make her way up that list. For Saluki Sports View, I'm Sean Conway. Despite only seeing a minute of playing time, Washington added to another board to her career total in last night's win over Murray State. In case you missed the Murray State final, SIU beat the Racers 70-57. to 
Leading the team was Diana Pierre with 21 points. Cartesia Macklin broke Molly McDowell's all-time SIU record for free throws when she went three out of four from the charity stripe. The dogs outscored Murray State 28-10 in the third. They did not look back. The Salukis improved to 3-3. Three three. They'll continue competition this week when they host SEMO at the arena tomorrow at noon. The SIU shooting team started the spring of 2013 with just a couple of guys, and now that team has won a local tournament. Sports View reporter Joey Dalo has more with the story. The SIU shooting team quadrupled the number of club members this semester. Forestry professor Michael Ruffner is a new faculty advisor this year. Ruffner has a lot of experience when handling firearms. He did service in the Army, so he's been deployed several times, and he actually was deployed as a DOD civilian. So he was over in Afghanistan doing land management practices and just kind of teaching the people. So he has a vast um, background with firearms and military. Most members learn how to properly maintain a firearm at a very young age. Oh, I've been hunting ever since I was nine or ten years old, and my dad sort of got me into shooting. So, I mean, I've been, I've been raised up around firearms, about what to do, what not to do, all the respect that you have to give them, and the uh, techniques that you have to uh, use to properly operate them. The Salukis finished in first place in its class at an Illinois Sporting Clays competition. The team has focused this year on trap shooting. Trap shooting is where there are five shooters and they have a total of 25 clay targets to hit. The shooters stand 16 yards away, trying to hit the targets flying through the air. I just enjoyed the fact where it makes you slow your mind down and focus on something, works on your hand-eye coordination, and just getting your mind set on a goal and completing that goal. Later on, the team hopes to compete in more pistol and three-gun competitions. For Saluki Sports View, I'm Joey Dalo. For more information about proper firearm care or the team itself, like them on Facebook at SIU Carbondale Shooting Team. An all-inclusive club at the rec center is bringing everyone together. And one athlete is getting support from a very huge group of athletes. Stay tuned. One Saluki basketball player is on her way to being one of the all-time greats, but with success comes greater challenges. The SIU women's basketball captain is on the verge of history. Junior Cartesia Macklin moved up to fifth place all-time on SIU women's basketball scoring list. I'm still blown away by even just hearing about it or, you know, people mention it to me. I'm honored. I mean, it's inspiring. I really want to meet the people that, I, you know, I have the opportunity to, you know, break records and stuff like that. In her first two seasons as a Saluki, Cartesia Macklin made the All-MVC freshman team and the Honorable Mention team in back-to-back -back seasons. But once her junior year rolled around, Cartesia Macklin's life was about to take a dramatic turn. The situation wasn't expected, so I think now having him and being blessed and he's growing up to be so smart, athletic, and you know, to be blessed with no disabilities is just an opportunity that not, not many people have. And, you know, so I'm just very thankful. She's also thankful for the help she receives from the rest of the team in raising baby Carson, all while setting a positive example. I can call anybody that I'm in need, so I mean, that's the best part about being here at SIU. Meg is always around. I mean, she's incredible with him. He loves her to death. And uh, Taylor, uh, that's his, his Aunt TT, so he's just like, he's always in the volleyball team, basketball team, track has even had him before. So, I mean, it's, they're just, he's just everywhere. And she's a tremendous mother. Um, I think that it's actually helped her on the court as well. I think that, uh, you know, she has a better uh, balance of life and uh, she does great things for us and someone we always look up to. Macklin is in her final year at SIU and on pace to break the school scoring record. However, what means to her most is influencing others by sharing her own experiences. In order for you to be a better parent, you need to have, be a better student. You need to be a better teammate, better person. And it'll all just form to one. Just don't give up. Prioritize your life financially, mentally, emotionally, physically. And there's people out there that are willing to help. Don't be too prideful to take that help. Macklin is fifth all-time with 1,387 points. She's 151 points behind Amy Raker for first all-time. Macklin's on pace to break that record by the end of January or the start of February. The SIU Rec Center makes physical activity possible for everyone, no matter their struggle. Sports View reporter Tia Reinhardt has the story. 
Peter Devonso is the definition of athlete. He will bowl all day long if his schedule allows. It's like a getaway for me for, uh, from school. And the games can really stack up as the day um, goes on. It's 25, 26 so far. With a 220 practice average, it's hard to believe that there are many things standing in his way. But Peter is knocking pins daily with limited mobility in his right arm. Cerebral palsy has not stopped him from competing in a league on the SIU bowling team in the Special Olympics and through the air program. It just gives me something to do, something to take my mind off of school, and it uh, helps me uh, relieve stress. The SIU Rec Center's air program, or Access Inclusive Recreation, gives students with any kind of disability the chance to get active through events like air bowling. Anything visible, anything non-visible. Anything that is a barrier between you and physical activity or any type of activity at the recreation center. Graduate assistant of special events Brittany Pender says the program was updated recently to add all-inclusive recreation, meaning anyone can participate. Better explained as... That's the Access Inclusive Recreation Program, AIR. Okay. That sees the umbrella. And then you have bowling, and then you have all-inclusive recreation. Peter has been bowling with air since he started at SIU in 2012. And since then, he has developed into quite the bowler. All of their uh, reactive balls, the balls that hook, are uh, scented. Yes, you heard that right. He even has his own scented no, bowling it's, balls. It's and they good. actually smell good. Yeah, they smell good, but do they play good? Wow. Right now they're not. But. <laughs> That's just Peter being humble, because this Saturday he will compete in the state finals for the Special Olympics in bowling. And although his schedule doesn't allow him to participate in other air events, his years with air bowling have most definitely paid off. Tia Reinhart, Saluki Sports View. The air program also offers personal training for any student who is facing a barrier to getting them physically active. When we come back, we'll have SIU Athletic Director Tommy Bell in the studio live. Don't touch that remote. We'll be right back. We just want to thank Dale Lennon for the great work that he did for our program and what he did for our institution. Uh, he led with integrity and uh, his academic excellence you know, speaks for itself and what he did with the program. So uh, we appreciate everything he did for us. And then uh, he led our program with great integrity. I'm Anthony Wilder. Alongside with me is SIU Athletic Director Tommy Bell. Tommy, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks, Anthony, for having me. It's a pleasure to be in the studio with you today. Very interesting uh, year. You come in uh, earlier this year. How has the first year of Saluki Sports been since you've been here? Well, it's been fast and furious. On uh, Monday, we completed five months, so been uh, really in review process, uh, restructuring athletics in general uh, to kind of fit the needs of what's going on here at the institution. What's been the what's been the toughest part of the job so far for you? Well, I think uh, we've had a lot of turnover, uh, unexpected turnover. You know, we lost a track coach, and then we've had some administrative change, and so we right sized to fit some of the ongoing challenges that the universities fit. And so we, I'd have to say uh, HR issues have been probably the biggest challenges because it is uh, it's labor intensive, takes a lot of staff time, takes a lot of individual time to get involved. But uh, we work at it every day, week by week, and we build it and we've put a pretty good team in place right now. There's been some great coaches here over the past several seasons. Uh, Connie Price Smith, you mentioned one of those coaches as well. Dale Lennon, uh, just the big news this week, he was let go. Um, Talk about, talk about Coach Lennon as a person. I'm sure he meant a lot to the Saluki program. Just kind of talk about him as a person. Well, you know, uh, being here for a short time, I met Dale when he first was hired here because my wife was still at the institution. Uh, great track record, great coach, had a lot of history uh, of success in his career uh, as a player and as a, uh, as a coach. Uh, did a lot of great things here for our student athletes. Uh, good graduation rate program was led with integrity. Just overall, most people in Southern Illinois think that uh, Dale Lennon was just one of the best human beings they've probably ever met. He's just a great individual. Now that leads to the question, of course, where is the coaching search as of right now? Are you looking for a certain kind of Saluki type character, someone that fits 
a, a certain kind of uh, category for your for your new. Well, program? I think I think the public uh, that most recently since Coach Kill has been here, you know, he just fits so well into this community uh, with the people and the understanding of what's going on. And then he had tremendous success, and that got people really really excited. So there's not one complete answer, but you know, some of the criteria we'd like for him to have, we want him to understand that. Do they understand the Southern Illinois region? Do they understand the institution? You know, what type of institution are we? You know, do we put academics first? You know, we're all about educating men and women and are they a fit in that point? And then also, do they understand how tough the Missouri Valley Football Conference is and how competitive we are? Okay, well, very good. And one last thing, of course, uh, the volleyball team, they play uh, tomorrow. Big, big season for them. Big season, 4 o'clock. Uh, they're going to play. They're going to be uh, broadcast on ESPN3, so lots of people have access to see them play. They've sold out all the tickets there. We're very excited about their opportunity to beat Illinois. Well, Tommy, we appreciate you being on the show. Thank you. Thank you, Anthony. We'll be right back in about 90 seconds. Here is your schedule for SIU Athletics this upcoming weekend. The men's basketball team travels to Texas to take on North Texas this Saturday. Tip-off is at 5 o'clock. The women's basketball team continues action this weekend when they host SEMO tomorrow night at the arena. The game will take place at noon on ESPN3. Thank you for joining us tonight. Join us again in February when River Region Evening Edition comes back from winter break. Till then, I'm Danny Valle. And I'm Sean Conway. For more than 100 students who work on Sports View and Evening Edition, good night.